I love coffee. Coffee is one of those things I, I don't think I could ever quit it. I think I'd be so miserable without it. Jesus Christ, hasn't life changed enough in the last two months? Uh, anyway, uh, hello. Greetings and salutations. Elton McFall here. On a very fittingly dull, friggin' cloudy fucking day. Monday. Fitting for Monday. Yep, gotta fix that exhaust there that came off of that rig. It's a trouble with these plastic models, you know, they just parts just come off over time. I don't know, you know, with humidity, dryness, whatever, temperature. Anyway, so now we're at uh, part four of my uh, series of uh, my old photos, older photos of trucks. And uh, actually, the next one's going to be special. I think there'll be even more than, than this little stack here, which there's probably about... Hmm, about 40 photos, I think, in here which I took between 2011 and 2012, as I've mentioned before in the other parts, when I lost my digital camera and I wasn't quick on, on replacing it. And uh, for three years, I lived in the Ville Saint-Pierre sector of the city of Montreal, uh, which is in Lachine, a very old part of town and uh, blue collar, you know, uh, and poor. And uh, so, so quite a few of these shots you're gonna see are from that area. And like this one here, this International Eagle crossing Notre Dame Street um, and um, on uh, St. Pierre Street next to the Highway 20. And then we have uh, further down that street, St. Pierre becomes Dollard Street in LaSalle. And you can see these nice two old rigs here, a Mac and a Freightliner FLD uh, leaving uh, or entering uh, the, uh, uh, what's it called again? It's a trucking depot in LaSalle there. Yeah. These Freightliner FLDs are so bloody well made. They were built in the 90s. There's several of them still on the road because they're so they're so goddamn well made. They're made to last forever. I absolutely love these photos. You know, by the way, all these photos are two bucks each, by the way. And uh, so two bucks US, let's say three bucks Canadian. And, um, but, you know, if you bought a few of them, I'll make a good deal like I did my friend Jack there in New Hampshire. Thanks again, buddy, for your order. And, uh, but this photo, I absolutely love this photo. This is fantastic. This is, again, just like a block or two from where I lived in Ville Saint-Pierre on Saint-Jacques Street. I mean, look at that. Two international work stars, exact same models. Uh, these were deluxe models compared to the regular model, what the hell, whatever it was called. And you could just see a bunch of, uh, um, cherry pickers lined up on the street working on the lines. They're just a fantastic, just a fantastic photo. You know, it's sunny. It was after a downpour. Friggin' fantastic. This was close to my old job. Uh, I used to work at a call center uh, right here on Cremonese Boulevard, Highway 40. Got an old International Eagle there, that dump truck. You know it's old because it's got a split windshield, two-piece windshield. And then you got your typical Freightliner, I don't know, whatever, JS2, whatever the fuck model it's called. You know, cheap truck. And a uh, nice old uh, Mac uh, CH model. Um... It's funny because right now the name of this company escapes me. I don't know why I can't remember it because it's like one of the only companies that has their trucks, these lime green color here. And again, this is in my old neighborhood of Ville St. Pierre on St. Jacques Street. Um, it's a dying breed, this truck, you know, because I think they only made it in, in the 90s, maybe until early 90, early 2000s. But I know it came out in 89. Kind of a replacement. Well, maybe not of the R-Series. Speaking of old trucks from the 90s, there's a, uh, this is probably from the 90s, look at a beautiful fall scene there on the, on the Boulevard at Saint Joseph, and the, uh, um, I think that's in the Plateau, Mont Royal district, very nice. By the way, none of these have du duplicates, eh? They're all one of a kind. Uh, this is an old Montreal, looks like it's next to an important building. International 4900 City Montreal trucks. Boy, these trucks lasted a long time. Um, I think there might be one or two still left in service, but as uh, water tankers because they're only used uh, seasonally. I once worked for this company, Pure Later. I probably loaded that trailer, I don't know how many times, or unloaded it at the Saint Laurent uh, at Depot. And, uh, man, that was a fucking hard back-breaking job. It's amazing, uh, in hindsight, how I was in shape for that at that time. 
and this was again in Ville St. Pierre and Lachine at this truck coming off Highway 20. And uh, more internationals. Why? Because internationals were good. They were well made, and they were affordable. They were cheap trucks. And this is very rare. That's an international crew cab. Uh, this was in Rosemo at some construction site. Again, all these pictures, 2011, 2012. Here's an E1 uh, or emergency one fire truck responding on Cremazie Boulevard near Saint Laurent. It almost looks as if this fucking guy in that golf or Jetta behind me wants to overtake him, by the way. You know when you're young and stupid, you know? Yeah. Another international moving truck. St. Jacques Street. Uh, of course, at that part of St. Jacques, it's called Avon. Don't ask me why, because it's in Montreal West. It's fucking stupid. Oh, isn't this a beautiful sight? Oh, that photo is going to sell eventually. Oh, yes, sir. Spare Freightliner cab over. With not only that, a cab over a very rare. That was the only truck of its type we had in the city. That Simon Duplex, which may or may not be still in service. I, I Last I heard, it was actually still in service. Uh, this is a... Uh, a V8 Detroit powered truck. Uh, actually, that's in one of my most popular videos when it was a spare at Station uh, 20 downtown. And then, like some years later, I found out uh, that it was uh, still in service at Station uh, 71, which is, it's of course, is still numbered. Because what happened is, is, is uh, it went back to in service at that station because the newer ladder truck, uh, Rosenbauer or whatever the hell it was. There was something about it was too high tech, and it was a, a frequency interruption with the uh, the communications tower at the airport because the that 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 state fire station was the closest to the airport. So go figure. This truck was reinstated back in there because it was just simple. It was like a I don't know early '90s truck, you know. And here we have um, there's a guy. Uh, I don't know if he still still subscribes to my channel or not. He used to drive these. His name was James, I think. And he drove at Kenworth before this company, uh, Glen Tay or Tay or whatever. And this was after a severe thunderstorm right there on uh, Notre Dame Street. Now the photo is actually out of focus. Not in focus. That's a dollar photo right there, actually. Never mind the two dollars. Again, same same area, Rue Saint Jacques, Lachine. Pretty cool looking uh, tanker truck there. You don't see that too often. Mobile Oil up here. Mobile, Mobile is really a more of an American company than Canadian, that's for sure. And you can see the uh, the Mercy Bridge interchange in the back for the Highway 20. Weird about that gap between the tank though and the cab. Here is a uh, yeah De Ross um, Sterling, but actually this was really based off of a, a Ford uh, Sterling, which was probably known as a Sterling or Ford Sterling Aeromax. So this truck could have been like late 90s, early 2000s. I know because I have a Canadian Ford Aeromax ad. It was the first year for that design, and then right after that, or in that same year, Sterling bought out the Ford heavy truck division. So you know, I don't know. It's a kind of a kind of a bit of an identity thing, identity crisis. Uh, oh, that was by the way on on Dollard uh, Street in LaSalle at that trucking depot I mentioned before. And uh, back on uh, Rue uh, Notre Dame, and uh, still in. Uh, in the Ville Saint Pierre and Lachine, you got your CN Logistics truck there, Kenworth T800. Downtown Montreal, we have a international workstar, really big ass. Uh, boy, you know a fucking tanker is really big and uh, and has a serious payload when you got to have tandem wheels for it. Note the international, uh, sorry, the Freightliner FLD tow truck, which I'm sure is probably no longer in service. And that truck actually was about to uh, haul away a Mac R series dump truck. And actually, I had a photo of that, but as I mentioned years ago, I sold a lot of pictures on eBay when I used to sell on eBay, but I stopped selling on eBay because I had too many fucking fees, so fuck them. Uh, City Montreal Sterling Tanker. I think this truck still exists. I'm not sure. I once had a friend, he told me when he worked for Canada Post, he used to drive the Sterlings. He says they were the best driving and riding trucks you could drive, but he says they broke all the fucking time. This is an old Montreal. Matter of fact, it didn't look very old, this truck, in this photo, but yeah, actually the paint is faded. It's in good shape. Let's take another swig here, eh? By the way, I think I have must have had this cup for fucking 20 years, I think. I think my mom, my parents had it before. It actually says, it's actually written 1989 underneath. And look at this beauty, eh? Well, for a white truck, you know, you guys, you know trucks like me, that's a GMC Top Kick. 
And I always was amazed how these trucks were ordered by the government of Quebec or, I don't know, Urgence Santé, which is our ambulance service here in Quebec. And uh, we had these as ambulances. I never could figure that out, the logic in that. Why would you want to... Why would you need a medium-duty truck as an ambulance? And not only that, they were very troublesome. It's, it's, I'm sorry to say because they're, I really like those trucks. They're just damn look good-looking trucks. I like them even more on the, even more than the pickup trucks, because they're based off their design is based off the pickup truck. There's a rock slinger, as it's known. It's called a rock slinger because uh, this Peterbilt truck would literally like shoot rocks out, you know, for, uh, you know, building foundations for buildings and stuff like that. And that's next to. Uh, Highway uh, Metropolitan Trans Canada on Cremazie Boulevard, and not far from that area, also near my my old employment, uh, was yeah this global uh, trucking company. A nice uh, nice shot there, T800 with the uh, I don't know if it's a Workstar International, but there's a FL Freightliner next to it. Okay, cool stuff. Back in La Salle near the Lafleur bus terminus near uh, Labatt. Yeah, that's a Kenworth T800. Look at this uh, beautiful pair right here, eh? Look at these fucking twins, man. They're like identical twins, practically. A couple of Western stars. But these trucks were not from Quebec. I'm trying to remember. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, those plates... Yeah, I know, I think they're from Ontario. I was going to say New Brunswick, but I think they're from Ontario. Because the um, the commercial vehicles in Ontario plates, they used, they used to be black lettering instead of blue. Ooh, look at that, sweetie. Even though it's too bad that stupid Ford fuck us got in the, the shot, but still, awesome, badass P379. I bet you this thing is probably still working, still running. Cool shot there you can see next to Place Bonaventure here downtown. Now, that shot you saw before with the Peterbilt um, uh, Glen Tye truck there with those, uh, those hopper... Um, uh, tra uh, trailers same place as here on Notre Dame Street this was after like I said on the other shot after a severe thunderstorm which you see that smoke comes from where it came from the uh, the motel uh, the famous motel Raphael that was on St. Jacques Street it was fucking hit by lightning but they never mentioned it in the news because I knew it was hit by light lightning come on the, the fucking fire happened right after the that thunderstorm and uh, so there was a major uh, fire department response fucking thing like half of it burnt to the ground I know because the next day I went to look at it because I lived in the area yeah and uh, speaking of which there's one of the pumpers responding he went pumper responding from station 33 which is in Villamart on the uh, St. Jacques Street overpass over the CN line yeah speaking of Pete's there's one right here that's a correct me if I'm wrong 378 377 uh, yeah, the LaFleur Bridge on uh, St. Pierre Street. Good looking explorer next to there. Yeah, right on. And there's a, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is called a, a Freightliner FL anymore because I had the same cab, but they redesigned the the, the grill and headlights and all that in, um, I think in the mid 2000s. And the last shot I'm going to show you here is real special to me. I uh, was hesitant on uh, selling it, and I think it's worth more than two bucks. Uh, because uh, I don't really want to sell it, but you know, I have the negatives. It's just that if you have a negative scan, it costs money. I have a, I have the scanner to scan slides and negatives, but the quality doesn't come out the same. Look at that. I mean, doesn't that just fucking say it all? Again, 2012, I think, spare freight liner number 246. Actually, sorry, um, I'm not sure that was a spare. I think that was working still out of 40, uh, station 46 on uh, Summerled. You can see this was a car accident uh, scene that attended on the corner of uh, St. Jacques Street and Cavendish. Yeah man, I'm very glad to have taken many pictures and videos of these trucks. They are absolutely beloved. People love cab overs. They love the Detroit powered in them. It's just, they're a bygone era, unfortunately. And, uh, and more proof that uh, most vehicles of today, uh, frankly, unfortunately, fucking suck balls. They're environmentally friendly, maybe. Better, better fuel, yes, but they don't have any... They don't even sound like they have any fucking balls, frankly. Or even look it, a lot of times. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this shiz. And, uh, you know, um, of course, I appreciate any of your uh, positive and informative comments. And uh, take care, stay safe, keep your dentists and wash your hands and all that jazz. And rock on. Bye-bye.